Well guys, welcome back. So I had so many things planned for today's video and everything just kind of fell through. I got stuff that's in the mail. I got like five things coming, all sponsored products that are coming. Uh, very grateful for that. Um, I was doing something on that and I I messed it up bad. I uh, didn't pay attention and um, long story short, I was using a drill to clean a carpet and it caught wires and the work that I had did installing the sub got yeah I'll just show you guys I I cannot make this stuff up I am um, everything was working fine the system was playing great I decided to clean the carpet uh, while I was here I was using that brush I didn't realize when I got right here it grabbed the wire ripped it out and tore my level line output converter to pieces it shredded it so now nothing works because I don't have a line output converter that's awesome anyways today's project uh, is just gonna be a little bit of tidying up and stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while now in a previous video um, I got a rib nut gun I got things like this right here that's just like a through bolt and then over here so anytime I want to get this uh, off, I have to worry about um, it coming unscrewed from the back side. So anything that's up here that I can get to, I want to put a, um, basically a rib nut in. I'd like to do it for the map sensor as well. That's only got one hole in it. So if I can get this stuff drilled out and done, that'd be great. Um, the throttle body spacer is one of the things that are in the mail. That is not a sponsored product, but... It is in the mail. So let's uh, let's get the rib nut gun. Let's get some of this taken apart and uh, get it fixed where I don't have to go through holding the nut on or the bolt head on the back side and trying to get all this stuff off. All right, got the hole drilled. I moved it. It was here, and that's got like a this weird uh, dimple. So there were screws there before. Um, this was a existing hole that I just drilled out so I can move this up actually get it in a better position So now I'm gonna go get the uh, rib nut gun and get this installed And there is the rip nut. Now let's see if I can do this because the car is lowered. Can you see it on the back side there? Much neater, much more secure. I don't have a pass-through bolt. So basically I had a bolt coming in from the back side with a nut on it, with that on it, with another nut on it. <sighs> Just a pain in the ass. So over here I can do the relay now and uh not have to worry about that one either all right i got that one in um i brought it down a little bit just to make a little bit better room because it was up here and all that was pulled tight because i have the wire cinched so much so brought it down to that area so that'll give me plenty of room still and i can unbolt it and move it if i need to all right now that's looking better now let's get to that map sensor i gotta figure out where i want it and uh get it mounted pretty much got to be in that area because i've already got it um wired so i only have so much uh, vacuum and wire so let's get it done all right got the two on the fireball yes they're a little off kilter there but it doesn't matter with that um it was there's a lip here that kind of runs and i couldn't get my drill in just right and then i couldn't get the uh the riv nut in there just right so i just had to deal with what i had so that's how it came out now let's get that bolted up 
All right, now that's bolted on solid. That's bolted on solid. That's bolted on solid. I don't have any nuts on the back side that I have to reach around try to grip. What? But you know what I mean, man. Don't be don't be twisting stuff on me. Jeez. Now the other area that I want to rib nut is back here. So I want this battery. This is on wood. I want a bolt going through this wood into the floor, rib nutted. Now, a lot of people say, you know, that's not strong enough. I believe it's plenty strong enough. Um, I think it was Street Slayers was saying that he rib nutted his side steps on his truck and it holds him. And, um, he is not petite. I will say that much. Um, solid muscle dude. So, we, uh, we are going to attack that game plan one day, but I have to get everything out of the back of this, first of all. Second of all, I have something coming, so stuff's got to come out of the back anyway. So I might as well go ahead and uh, save that for a day when I can just tackle everything. So yeah, like a kid with a new toy, I'm going around this car and seeing what else I can rev nut and make look better and uh, sturdier. Um, I will go ahead and note I want to have this on file for my personal. Sometimes I have to go back on my videos. What did I do here? Um, I drilled through that. I left the raw metal and put the rib nut in because I had to ground a few spots and I'm hoping that that's going to be a good ground. Brass is commonly used in like battery terminals, stuff like that. So it should be good. But if I run into issues, I want to make a mental note. That's why it's probably not a, not a good enough ground. I think it's going to be, but I think numbers like five volts, uh, reference signals and stuff like that. It's nothing crazy, <sighs> but yeah. Uh, anything else I can rib nut? Come on guys, help me out here. I'm having fun with this daggum tool. Something else crossing my mind. I got these like slapper style bars down here. Um, seem to do the job really good, but I cannot utilize a rear sway bar because the, uh, the linkage right here, that's where the holes would be. It does not give me enough room. So I'm kind of wondering... Um, is it a good enough trade-off for these bars to be on versus, um, versus a rear sway bar? What do you guys think? Should I keep the traction bars? I'm kind of, I really, I get a lot of compliments. I mean, that, that don't mean much to me, but just about everybody that sees them is like, oh crap, you got old slapper bars. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Um, also, with my one side being a little bit higher, it could be just an adjustment in the slapper bar. Because if you look, this one's kind of snubbed up right there. And I don't know how the other side looks, but it could be um, pressed harder, which uh, causes that side to twist a little bit better. I didn't think they were supposed to be on that already. I thought it was supposed to have, um, like right here. I thought it was supposed to have like a finger width of space. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look how to set these up. But uh, yeah, just uh, just a random thought. Can't get a good angle on it. So sorry if you can't really tell what I'm saying. Still loving these dag blasting wheels. But they need to be clean. Look at all that. When I start driving it, it's going to get washed a lot. Uh, one of the things I've thought about doing also with this uh, patina paint job is I kind of like the where they do like the shop decal on the side and then they, they make it look weathered. It's, it's just a thought. Yeah, so this side looks a touch more smushed up. I don't know if that would cause uh, this side to lift up, but I'm assuming that it would because... It won't let the, I don't know, just seems like it's kind of loading that side a little bit. So I might come in and adjust this and see if me adjusting it actually um, starts closing the wheel gap there a little. Yeah, and I, I know nothing about this old style technology other than it's always been cool. The, uh, the old heads, I guess you'd call them. You know, everybody had an uncle that had, you know, a 350 with 500 horsepower with, uh, you know, slapper bars and 
things like that. So it's just kind of the nostalgia. I kind of like it, but at the same time, if I'm not really benefiting a ton from it, maybe that maybe that's time to go. But uh, maybe I just need to adjust them right. So if you have any experience in these bars, let me know because I uh, I definitely want to uh, definitely want to get it figured out there. So not super uh, entertaining, but like I said, I'm waiting on parts. But I did have this little project to get out. This is one of my favorite tools. Link in the description. This is Hardell. I, I keep saying it, but man, this thing is awesome. I am loving it. Got three little projects done today. And, uh, yeah. When my parts show up in the mail, y'all be the first I tell. Until then, peace out. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We out. Turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart I'll Shoot for the stars, even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart I'll Shoot for the stars, even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around I won't, I won't turn around